Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. A quick trick, how did I do it? Well, I used a crimped card. And it's crimped on the back. From the corners to the edge, uh, from the centre to the corners even. So you crimp it on the back. And that goes face up on the bottom of the packet. Right? I'll just go through the tricks from here. At the end, I will show you different way, ways you can get into it with impromptu. If you want to hang around for them. As I say, I had, had it on the bottom and then just shuffled the packet, making sure I did keep that on the bottom. And we all know how that is done. Doing a pinch on it so it slides off. Right? So I've kept it on the bottom. Um, you then ask your spectator, three of them if you're lucky, or just the one if you, he's unlucky, to remember three cards. They tell you when to stop. You show them the card. Now, as you're coming down, you're going to ditch this card to the bottom of the packet. I did cover this in a video the other day, but I didn't tell you much about it. It's called the Kelly Ovetti Bottom Placement. You're just going to be bending your fingers onto the card, having your thumb, your right thumb, near the left-hand edge, left-hand corner. Right, so you've got less distance to move it to get it past your thumb. You're just going to use these fingers just to kick the card past your thumb, and then leave it so it comes away from the packet, all covered by your hand, right? I didn't do too good in performance, I had my thumb too far in. But you do that, and you've got it into position. And all you're going to do is slide this packet in between there, so you're basically putting that card to the bottom. A bottom placement. And you square the packet up. So, first spectator is remembering the card. You do the same with the second spectator. They remember the card. You do the little glide and get it popped open, slide it to the bottom. You do it for a third spectator, they remember on that one. You do the same thing again, bink, bink, that was two cards, bink, bink, and to the bottom. And that should put you with the three choices on the bottom facing down, a bink, bink, and a bink, and then you face up crimped card. As you are then talking to them, you're going to get a break on your crimp. Pull your crimp down. So you're getting a break underneath them bottom four cards, basically. So get a break at your crimp. Then you're just going to pick the top half of the packet up and turn it face outwards. As you're going to get this packet and turn this that way. So you're basically altering the rotation, if you like. If they're facing down, that's facing up. You turn it over, now they're all going to be facing up. Yeah, you get the idea. So that's what you're going to do. But you want to try and cover the bottom packet a bit. Because you're then going to keep that in your hand and just shuffle off this packet on top of it. That should then put you with three facing down cards on the bottom and the rest of the packet all facing up. Okay, yeah. Then you give them another shuffle, but don't keep hold of them. Just a proper shuffle off the top till you get about halfway through the packet and push them onto the top. Then you do whatever little bit of magic you want to do, and when you spread them out, they'll see that their three selections are not in the packet anyway, but there is three facing down cards. And the top one will be the first selection, the second one will be the second selection, and the third one will be the third selection. Yeah, I forgot to name them as I was doing it, but if you rewind, you'll see that they are the same cards in the right order. And there you go. This is how it's done. Now, if you want to do it impromptu, well, I'll show you first off with a crimped. If you've got a crimped card, and someone says, hang on, before you do this, I want to shuffle the packet. Well, all you do is very quickly palm the card away. Right. If you've got it upside down on the bottom all ready for it and they want to shuffle the packet, well, you just palm the card away. Let them shuffle the packet and then you bring it back together again, all hunky-dory. Right. If you want to do it completely impromptu, where they've got a pack of cards and pass it to you, all you've got to do is, any way you want to, get a card upside down, or rather, a card face up on the bottom. You can do a cardini. And get a card down there facing up. You could do a half pass, getting the card facing up. 
you could do a, the trouser rub where you do it on your leg or your trouser and you've got your hand at your side. Anything you want to do to get the card facing up on the bottom. Once you've got it facing up on the bottom, you're just going to bend down on the bottom or right hand corner and put a bend in it. So you have created a crimp. And there you go. How to do it on an impromptu, or how to do it a different way with your crimped card if you needed to. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty good for me. I got quite a bit in there in a very shortish time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.